Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a process application which could be invoked by OIC integration. So this video series is split into two parts. In first part, we will learn how to create a process application. For the demo purpose, I am considering to build a business process for a leave application in which a manager or the reviewer can approve or reject the leave application and the request for the leave application will come from OIC integration. Part 2, we will learn about how to build an integration which can invoke process application with the help of process action within OIC. I am here in the Oracle documentation. There is a document how to build an integration and as well as the process application. In order for integration to invoke a process application, the process application must be designed in message based pattern and it must be of asynchronous type then only our integration will be able to invoke process application if we uh, build in any other pattern other than message based pattern or asynchronous then uh, our integration will not be able to invoke process application let's head over to our OIC instance and create the process application once you are in this process application designer page click on this create button click on this create an application as we are building from scratch Give some name i'm giving as leave application click on create if you have spaces in which you want to assign this application to then we can have this under that particular space if not we can leave this as a default and click on create once the leave application designer page opens we have to click on create structure process select start when a message is issued because we have to design a process which is based on message pattern then only integration will be able to invoke this process as you can see there are a bunch of options available over here we can start with the form which can embed in a html form approval pattern or these are a few of the bpn and design patterns which we can use as message dm and this also we can use but let us start from a scratch that is by start when a message is received leave apply we can name as this one click on create once the leave apply designer page opens click on the start button and go to this options menu and select open properties here we have to click on this edit symbol and define our interface as of now uh, this will be exposed as a service so operation name is start click on this plus button and define the arguments for leave application we basically need the name which is of a string type second is a reason for leave this also is of type string third is from date the type is we can go for date here and from date and to date we can have over here and this is also of type date click on this type and change the type to date click on this click on ok yeah we are done with this click on save and minimize now we have to uh, associate this data uh, into some variable what we can do is we can create a data object of uh, as of now we don't have business object type created for that what we can do is we can head over to business types click on a create create a business type over here leave apply type we can name this as click on next here we can define our arguments first is name click on add second is reason click on add third parameter is from date and this is of type date click on change type click the tab and type to date from here click on ok click on add and the fourth parameter from we need to add is to date this is also of type date change this to tam from here and from the type select date click on ok click on add click on finish yeah our type has been created head over to leave application click on this go to data associations and map click on the plus button over here go to business and select the type from here that which we created just now and name this as leave apply data we should name with the starting letter as lowercase click on add we have to drag from here and map to the target we have to drag the reason to source and reason to apply business type from date to from date to date to and to date click on 
apply if you want to change the association type we can change it from here if not we can leave it as default we'll learn in uh, some other videos how we can build, make use of these functions and make use of the uh, operators available uh, in the process and build the complex transformations from here we have to drag the approve activity and uh, drop it over here from this open the properties here uh, who are the approvers any single assignee we can have if we have assignee in parallel sequence this we can as of now i'm leaving as is uh, if we want to form for the approver when he gets the request in my under my task then he should be able to view this in some html format for that we have to click on this form and create a form using new form leave request form i'm naming click on create so the form what we are trying to create will be useful for the approver to know the details like whatever the approver has raised the request for we have created the form now click on this edit button we have to drag this text area what we can name this is uh, this is a name the label we have changed but the name we have to change it to name or we can something name like this next we have to drop the reason label we can make this as a reason this as a reason underscore war next is a date over here this we can name as a from date from date underscore var drop it over here this we can name as to date and the name we can change to to underscore date underscore var we can have one uh, input text as well for a comment section so what we can do is this as comments I will show you where this is going to be used once done click on save or head back to the review application now we have to associate the data for this click on the open data association uh, our form objects are over here and our data object for which we have uh, assigned the details in earlier in the data association uh, it's over on this data object leave apply data now we have to map this data name to this name so that approver can see uh, on his screen who has raised the request reason also we have to map from date to from date and uh, to date to 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 date comments uh, is something what approver can fill from the ui click on apply now go to this end open properties click on this edit symbol as per the documentation we have to design in asynchronous pattern and this is designed in asynchronous pattern itself click on ok we don't have to change anything in this click on save go to activate if you want we can test this application click on the activate new version validate no previously published versions are there so what we can do is before activating we can publish this application click on this public publish 1.0 we can do the version naming comment once we have published we can click on this activate new version click on validate click on options here give the version as uh, 1.0 click on activate our application has been activated successfully click on this finish button and we are done with the creating our application so in our next video we will look at how we can create OIC integration which can invoke this process application